Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Julia here from English Prep Class. Now this is a very special video today because um, I got a student here, a student that his results wowed me and I finally got him to sit here and guess what? He doesn't want me to blur his face <laughs> like the other test takers. So um, he's going to do a little introduction of himself and then we're just going to proceed from there. All right. Hi, everyone. Good morning and uh, welcome to English Prep Class YouTube channel. Uh, officially, this is my first time of being a host on uh, um, a what, what they call it? Um, well, a guest. <laughs> a guest. Yeah, guest on the YouTube mm -hmm. channel. My yeah. name is IK and um, yeah, that's, that's basically it about me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So you already heard from him. His name is IK. IK is my student that I just put up his results. If you follow me on um, Instagram and if, you, if you're also looking at my community post, yeah, his results wowed me. So today we're just going to get, get to know more about IK, how he got to find me as his tutor and how the classes were and other things he did for him to get the score that he got. So how were you able to find me as um, English prep class? How did you locate me? Let's hear from you. All right. Um... I'm not a very good student at telling stories, but I'll be a lot more details if you don't mind. Do you mind if I take some time and, you know? Yeah, okay. that's fine. So, yeah, so basically I wasn't the one that met in English prep class. I don't know you from anywhere. Coincidentally, it wasn't planned. I needed to write an English exam. I've written lots of English exam, you know, I originally was an international student, so definitely you would, if you want to study in any English speaking country that is similar to the one where we live in, you would definitely at one point or the other write an English exam. So I've written IELTS, I've written um, OET. Yeah, OET, yeah. Um, yes, and all that stuff. I have also written PTE, but that was in 2016. But so I don't deviate. I got to know you through my wife. My wife basically told me about you. She told me wonderful things about you. And then I got sort of hooked to being your friend somehow. Though you didn't really know me, the person you no. knew was success. But yeah, yeah, because she mentions your name. I'm like, yeah, this lady, she's cool. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Success. I'm going to be leaving your YouTube channel. Um, so guys, you can check them out. They live here in Australia. As me and their lifestyle content creators, you like their content. So, Ike, thank you so much for that. I mean, I was actually blushing at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I think your exam was on the 9th of June of 2022. So, you you met me, I think, on the 7th. So, um, and then we slated the class. You want to give a little insight about how we slated the class and how you saw the classes when I started the classes? All right. So, it just happened coincidentally that I needed an English exam score, no particular English exam. Um, my wife needed something to get done and then I need to prove that I have proficient English as well. Yeah. So, and the time frame was really very short. The only English exam where you would write and you're sure that the result is going to be out in hours, though that's the candidate's expectation. The usual time frame is five days. The earliest yes. English exam that you can have the result immediately is five days is yes. PTE. So literally, my wife just dragged and registered me for PTE and all that stuff. I didn't even know the date because I wasn't worried. <laughs> I only needed, is it functional English, which is like 2.0? Yes. So I was filled with overconfidence. I'm like, yeah, like, from back home, we speak English. You're literally taught in English from fresh, from nursery school. Yes. And because I had the friends with IELTS and PIT and OET and all that stuff, I was very confident. <laughs> I did not prepare at all. I didn't look into any study material. I did not bother. So my exam was to be on the 9th of June, mm -hmm. which is on... A Thursday. Thursday, yes. yes. And then um, on Tuesday, which was on the 7th, I was told by success that 
she has an agreement with English Prep Plus to be my tutor. I'm like, hey, <laughs> set up. <laughs> Come on, I haven't got time because you know how life in this part of the world is yeah. and all that stuff. I already had my schedule, and she's like, hey, dude, are you like you're gonna write an English exam? Do you want to <laughs> cash them your money? Take out time and study. Um, long story short. I just kept food dragging and all that stuff till the 7th of June, which was two days before my exam on the Thursday. That was on Tuesday. Um, she literally, I was sleeping, yeah. I think it was on the 9th of the 7th. So she just put a phone to my ear and I just heard this, you know, this um, chill voice, you know, talking to me. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> It's my wife setting me up with, you know, <laughs> does she want me to be another you? Let's do it here. You know, I, like, I, I had this female voice, nice, like, I'm not trying to talk to you, but you have a good voice, you know. Thank you. Yeah, so, Ooh, thank you. <laughs> so we got talking and I told her she, or rather she was already booked out. You were booked out already. Yes, I was. Yeah, so you told me that the only time when we can have a class was on the 8th, which yes. was the day before my exam. And on the 8th, I played soccer, I played football, like the real football with the leg. Yes. I played football every Wednesday. I was booked out as well to play football. And I told her that the only time I'll be, and I can't let my team down, yeah? And I needed the PTE class. The only time I can make up time is late. Long story short, um, we both, myself and English prep, we did a three hour class. Yes, right? 9 to 12 a.m. of yes. your exam day. Yes. <laughs> yes, 9 p.m. on Wednesday. On Wednesday. <laughs> 12 a.m. on Thursday. 12 a.m. on Thursday. Your and exam, my exam was, uh, was 9 a.m. or 9.55. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that was about the preparation I had with you. Yeah, roughly three hours. Yes. So did you go back after the classes? Did you go back to look at what we've done? Or you just said, oh, I think I've had enough. And you just went straight to your exam when you had a little, when you woke up from your sleep. Okay. To answer that question, I'll just track back. I'll backtrack a bit. Okay. I've taken PTE before in 2016. Okay. Then I did my PTE with a different PTE training institute. Everything looked so difficult and complex. In fact, the, the way I was taught, my confidence really dropped. You know, there's a way a tutor would teach you and you feel as though you know nothing. I'm not saying this thing to make you feel hip about yourself. Yeah, I'm sure. Was so difficult, so difficult to me. You know, the technicalities, and I was told it's not because, you know, I went with a lot of confidence, Niger, do you know, we speak good English and all that stuff. Most of the people that get high scores in PTE, sometimes we look at them because we speak, we have better con control of grammar. Yes. Than a lot of them. So when I went there, you know, I said, make I go show myself, like, you know, and I was. The Niger boy, you be. <laughs> yes, it's not about your English. All technique I was shown made me look dumb uh, in 2016. So because of that, I already had this pre-notion of PTE that it's something I, I cannot roll with. Yeah. I loved ILTS and OET a lot better. So mm -hmm. fast forward 2017, 18, 19, 20, 26 years later, when I met you, and then we started the class, you know, everything was like very easy i was trying to synchronize the techniques i was taught in 2016 with your own but it wasn't like you remember in the class right yeah yeah so it wasn't <laughs> really matching but the way you delivered the class like it i felt confident in myself you get oh me? yeah that's over good. that three hours oh, oh, over that three hours like your return lecture you gave me this what what do you call it? Templates. Um, templates. Templates. The templates, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, this template, you know. And it was just like bang, 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 bang. I'm like, really? Are you sure? Like, 
I was still having doubts within me if you really knew what you were doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> But it was too I didn't easy. Get that, yeah. <laughs> you know, like those days, um, I remember there was a template they taught us about landscape. We had to focus so much on knowing what the image is. Like this had to be a landscape, a portrait, a line graph, a oh my goodness. I 2016, I just felt so deflated. 2022, when I met you, like my confidence was really very high. So that's me backtracking. Then to answer your question, after we finished rehearsal for that two hours and we finished by 12 a.m., the day to my exam, yeah? I just went to bed. Oh my God. I had, <laughs> I had come back from playing soccer. Yeah. yeah. I was tired. I had worked the same day. So my head was three hours of academic work. My head was stuffed up. So after the class, I wanted to practice, but I just felt very confident with all those templates, yeah? And I just went to bed, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so the thing is, um, most times I've got some people ask me, wait, is it like this? Is it that easy? Just like that? I'm like, yes, that's all you need to get the score you need. And sometimes it's hard for people that have had um, previous classes to accept what I'm teaching them. So when I get people that have done the exam over and over again, I always tell them, you know what you do for me in this class? Keep what you know, just follow me. And when you follow me, you get, you see what you get. And I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm glad what I thought you was different from what you knew before. So my last question here is this. So did you get the score you needed or the score your wife needed you to get? <laughs> um, you know the answer. <laughs> but for the, for the sake of those who are going to view this video, I exceeded every known expectation. Yeah, like I, results, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have my consent. In one of the band score, I'm getting like 90. I'm like, is this really me? <laughs> you know, yeah. So, yeah, I got the score. I go way. In fact, when I shared it with my wife, she was somewhere. She had to, you know how it works here now. She had to. She had to go to the toilet and she called me. She's like, is this really you? You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when she shared so. the result with me, well, I think I, I was in a class when the result popped up. I just said, just give me one minute. And I looked, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was so excited, you know, because you got 19 speaking, uh, I think 86 in one of them, 82 in um, listening. Then you got 65 in writing. This is such an amazing result, I must say. Congratulations again, IK. And um, so what's, what are you going to tell the viewers? Um, what's, what's up? Are you recommending English prep class? Are you recommending me going forward to people? <laughs> I would not just recommend English prep class. 110% every investment into English prep class via paying for the classes, subscribing to her channel, watching her videos on IE on PTE. You see, IELTS is still in my head. On PTE. <laughs> it's okay. Keep following her on Instagram at what's your Instagram handle? Um English underscore prep class. Yeah. Yes. Um, every channel, English prep class. Yeah. Every investment towards smashing your PTE exam associated with English prep class is a lot worth it honestly i've been there and i think the exam is all about self-confidence it's about technique she yeah. doesn't go through unnecessary rigorous techniques and the rest of them it's just very easy straight to the point so if you're thinking about smashing your pte exams think about english prep class yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for taking out time to do this video with me. And thank you for the recommendation. I really appreciate you. So uh, this video is going to go up tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, when after I editing it. Um, so if you haven't joined, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, please find me there at English underscore prep class. And remember to hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me here on YouTube. It's very necessary. And then lastly, I have the super thanks button close to the subscribe button. I mean, you can super thanks your girl. Your girl is doing an amazing job here. I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Bye-bye.